Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing, and over the past few weeks, I've been getting tired of seeing a regular old background behind me, but luckily, Google has finally added a change background feature where you can add any image as your background on a call. So I think I'm gonna choose this one today. This feature to add a custom virtual background is rolling out to users over the next few days and weeks, and it will be coming on mobile sometime soon as well. This virtual background is one that I actually made myself. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own custom virtual background and upload it to Google Meet so you can add a little more personality to your calls. So to make a custom virtual background for Google Meet, go to the first link in the description and click that, and you'll be taken to this template. All you have to do is click make it. It already has a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is the size for those platforms. Now, currently Google Meet only takes image virtual backgrounds. So to add your own photo, just click replace on this placeholder. And if you have a file on your local device that you want to just resize or maybe add uh, image or text overlays to it, you can do that here. So just click to upload something from your personal files. We do also have image search right within this editor and anything you search will be sourced from Google Images. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna search for an illustrated plant poster. So when you find one you like, you can just click the image and it will bring it into the editor. And as you can see, it already resized the image to the 16 by nine dimensions. But since it's a little blurry, I actually wanna resize this down and then make copies of it to fill the background. You have a bunch of options on the right side for editing this image. You can click lock ratio to retain the original dimensions. So I'm gonna click that and then it goes exactly to the dimensions. So now that I have the original dimensions of this photo, I'm just gonna copy and paste it using control C and control V, and then add it to fill the rest of the white space. Drag all of these to the side. So some other things you can add to your photo are text and image overlays. So in the top bar, you have this text icon. If you click that, it creates text automatically, and then you can move it around the screen, and there's options on the right side as well for editing it. You can also add other images to overlay the background image. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna click images, and you can either upload the image or search for it. I'm gonna search for plant PNG, and I wanna have just like little potted plants on the sides in front of this background. If it has a border or outside area that you don't want in the picture. So for example, I really like this picture, but I don't want that PNG checkered background thing. You actually have the option to erase the background or any parts of images in this editor. To do that, you can just click the photo and then on the right side here, there will be an erase button. Click that. So you have two types of erasers. You have the magic wand and the freehand erase. Magic wand works pretty efficiently for just erasing backgrounds so if you click and drag it will select most of the photo and if you drag and hold it will select different areas but since most of this background is highlighted i'm just going to hit delete on the keyboard and it immediately erases all of that then you can do the same with different areas in the photo and then the freehand erase is good for just going over pixels and deleting them really quickly for like borders so i think this is a pretty decent job for what i need so i'm gonna just click done and there is this plant without the background. I'm gonna resize that down a little bit and then make a copy of it and put it on the other side as well. So feel free to add any text or image overlays or change the background. Make sure it is 16 by nine output size. And then once you're ready to add it to Google Meet, just click export and your file will start processing. So my virtual background is done processing. This is the final file. If you do see a Kapwing watermark in the corner of your project, that can be removed for free just by clicking sign in to remove watermark. It should be a button that shows up here. And all you have to do is log into your free Kapwing account to remove it. To save it to your device, you can click download here. And then to actually upload it to a Google Meet call, just go to Google Meet and just as a reminder, this since this is a pretty new feature, it's gonna take days or weeks for it to completely roll out to everyone. They're doing it gradually, so even if you don't have the change background feature right now, you'll probably get it soon. Since it's also rolling out to different accounts, make sure to check your other Google accounts 
uh, I had I have this feature on one of my accounts, but not on the other one So that's another thing you can try but to upload it to a call all you have to do is start a meeting I'm just gonna start a random one and here I am Before you even enter the call you can change the background using this little icon here so just click that and then you have a selection of ones that Google has provided but you can also click this button to add your own so click that and then click find your file that you just made click open and there we go now i have my background so that's outside the meeting once you join the meeting you can also change your background just by clicking the three dots down here and then click change background and you have the same options you also have your your blur options slightly blur and then you can add the background for using this plus button. Another idea for virtual backgrounds, especially if you are using a background for like a workplace setting um, is to have a custom like branded background. So this is one I made before and it just has my name and title and like the Kapwing logo. And another thing to note is that what you see on your screen is actually flipped from what everyone else sees. So although it looks like my name and all the text is backwards, other people will see it the right way. Thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more content creation tips. Let us know what other videos you want to see on our channel. Just leave us a comment below and we will see you in the next video.